what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is derica for those of you who are new today we are doing a sublimation tutorial and it is going to be on these memorial ribbons you will need ribbon i got this ribbon from walmart it is 100 percent polyester it is seven eighths of an inch um 25 yards but all we're going to need is for one ribbon eight inches of ribbon first what you'll want to do is pull up a blank canvas on design space so if you see over here i have already made a template for this we're going to go ahead and make this template it's so easy that way you can save it and you don't have to remake the template every time you make a memorial ribbon the ribbon is eight inches long so we're going to go to shapes go to square and we're going to resize the square to eight inches wide by 0 0.875 inches high and basically 0 0.875 is seven eighths of an inch which is how how big our um, ribbon is okay so now that we have that I'm just gonna leave my other template up for reference actually I'm gonna take it down that way y'all don't get confused so you can focus on one thing so now that we have our ribbon right here what we're going to do is we need to make some dividers because there are parts of the ribbon that you should not or can't um, decorate on. So we're going to go ahead and place that on our template so that we know every time we do a ribbon that we cannot design in these certain areas. So first what we're going to do is go to shapes, go to square and basically what we want to do is just make some little dividers so we're going to unlock this and just make some little dividers like that all right so we're going to duplicate it three additional times because we want four dividers all right, so we want to place one divider at the one and a half inch mark, which will be right here. And I'm sure you all know that uh, you can use your ruler right here at the top um, or four of these little blocks equals one inch. So you want to put it at six blocks from the left. So one and a half inch from the left, that'll be your first design space. You wanna take your second divider and you wanna put it at one inch from the first divider, which is four little blocks right here, okay? Now you wanna take the third divider and put it at another inch from the design, from your um, last divider. And then you wanna take your fourth divider and place it at another one inch mark so as you see we have one and a half inches right here of space one inch space right here one inch space right here one inch space right here and then here we have one two three three and a half inch space right here okay I hope that was simple enough for you guys. All right, so next we're gonna go to text and make an X. And you want to duplicate the X because we need two. You wanna take your first X and place it in the second column. You wanna take your second X and place it in the fourth column. All right, so these are the spaces that you do not want to create in, okay? Right here where the X's are. 
and voila, here is your template. As we are designing our ribbon, um, there are going to be certain places in um, directions your images and your text are going to need to go. So now you want to choose your base color for your ribbon. So go ahead and click on your ribbon, go up to color, and you can choose a color from here or a pattern or pictures or um, a background from Google. You can add anything, but right now I'm just gonna choose a solid color. I don't know if I want blue. I might do this lighter gray, okay? So I think I am gonna do the lighter gray. Now we're gonna start from the left. Right here, I would suggest to add an image um, because it's small, it's not enough room to add, you know, a lot of font. So let's go ahead and add an image and we're going to insert it to our canvas. I may change the color, just depends. I gotta see what color shirt he has on in his picture and how everything matches up. So here's my image. I want to make it smaller because it has to fit in this area right here. Also, you're gonna turn it at a 90 degree angle because you want the image to be facing that way, okay? And it'll all make sense once you print out your ribbon and fold it. So let's go ahead and make them small. Let's go up here to rotate, type in 90. Enter, and as you see, he has rotated. Let me make him bigger so you can see. He has rotated, and you want to place him here, that way, and stretch him out as much as you can without messing it up. So now that we have an image right here and it is facing at a 90 degree angle facing that way, we're gonna go ahead and work on the second box. Now the second box um, is small, smaller than the first box. So I would suggest maybe a small image here, nothing important, honestly. So let me go into my uploads and see what we can find. Maybe I'm thinking like a halo or like some angel wings or uh, maybe a heart. Um, okay, I like this. Maybe some prayer hands, uh, anything, anything just kind of small and simple to go right there. And again, we're gonna change, turn this to 90 degrees. So this image will be facing to the left as well, okay? That's why I said it's very important that you make your template. That way you don't have to keep making it. Uh, you just wanna make sure you know where everything goes. So here, and I'm gonna turn that white. Yeah, turn that white. So now we got the second column done. And now I wanna work on this column. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna put his, hmm, I'm gonna put what they call him. So I'm gonna text and type out Ultraman. And that is what they used to call my father. So go up here and we can change the font. Any font that you want, don't forget this is yours or whoever you're creating it for. So Arial Black, again, you can do yours any font that you like. All right, and I think under it, I'm gonna do another text and say, I will hmm, 
Let's say forever loved. We're gonna choose another font for the second layer. So I think I'm gonna go with this font. I'm gonna just change the letter spacing. Fit it to my liking, basically. That's all I'm doing. <clears throat> Again, y'all, excuse my voice. I know it sounds, I'm probably breathing heavy and all of that, but I haven't made a video in over a month, so. Okay, I think I like that. I do. So what I wanna do is I want to change Ultraman white. We are going to group these together and make them smaller. And then we are going to rotate these 180 degrees. What that does is it flips it upside down. We're gonna place it in our area and minimize it to fit. I think I like that. I think that is it, all we're gonna do. Of course, like I said, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can add um, more info, you can add pictures right there, Whatever you want to do is in your hands, in your control, okay? Get creative. So now we're going to just remove all of these. All of the things we do not need, remove those. Don't forget to remove those because you'll be so mad if you print out all this stuff and you have not removed it, okay? Once we removed it, we want to click on the entire image and we want to flatten it okay once we flatten it we're going to duplicate it a few times because now we're going to print it and we do not want to waste any sublimation paper okay now that we have our image that my printer is going to automatically mirror the image we're going to continue <clears throat> excuse me y'all i feel like i'm breathing heavy talking fast i feel like i'm talking loud because i can't hear myself my ears are clogged so i am so sorry okay we're going to press send to printer We're going to go to my sublimation printer, which is, I have the Workforce 7720. We are going to add bleed, and we are going to use system dialog. I always do this just to double check everything, make sure that my mirror is on, make sure that it's printing at the best quality, um, just my per personal preference. Um, you're sublimating, you should know how to sublimate if you are sublimating um, more options. And as you see here, it says mirror image. So my computer is automatically set up to mirror the image, okay? We're gonna go here and we are going to print. Okay, now that we have our image printed out. Uh, we will need our ribbon. We will need heat tape. We will need scissors and additional sheets of paper for our heat press, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our ribbon to measure our tape. I mean, we want to measure our uh, ribbon to fit this. Now, I would suggest adding a little extra um, just to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna cut here. And also, 
I'll show you at the end how to burn your ends so that they won't unravel. Like as you see, this one is unraveling. But I'll cut that. We'll burn the ends slightly. And yeah, we'll go from there. So you wanna make sure this matches up evenly. And what you wanna do is you want to add your heat tape to the ends so that it will not move. And you wanna do the same thing with each of these. We are going to take some paper and lay it down. That's to cover our area. We are then going to take our image and we are gonna place it face down. We're gonna take a couple more sheets of paper, place them on top. This is just for the bleed and to protect our surface. And we are going to press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. All right, here it is our image let's go ahead and peel this off wow look at that amazing as you see here is the ribbon this is the back of the ribbon and as you see we still have the ends so we're going to cut those off And so the ends won't fray. You want to take a lighter. And you just want to uh, just like that. Take the other half. And you want to take the lighter and burn. You do not have to burn it till it's dark. It does not take much. And so bam, there you are. And so how you want to fold this, you want to turn it back upside down, just like you made it. You designed it, okay? And you want to bend forward and cross over see that now you have your ribbon see go up some so i would suggest that you put some hot glue right here that way you can it can stay together all right so amazing so you can do these for breast cancer awareness, um, school events. I mean, there's so much stuff that you can do with this ribbon. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments if you're gonna try it um, also. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.